So in this example, we're going to look at interference. Specifically, we're going to look at the total number of maxima that you can see from a double slit experiment. So in the diagram, I give you a double slit setup. You'll notice that I have two slits. Assume they have negligible width, and they're separated by a distance d. And I shine light with wavelength lambda on these slits, and it creates an interference pattern on the screen opposite. And I ask, what is the theoretical total number of maxima that we could see on the screen? So we can start off with our interference equation, d sine theta equals m lambda. And we think that if, if we want to find the biggest maximum possible, where should we look? Well, we should look infinitely far down the screen. Well, that would correspond to an angle theta of 90 degrees. And so sine of 90 is just 1. We can rearrange our equation and we get m is equal to d divided by lambda. But we have to be careful about this. If m is a whole number, the calculation makes sense. We could technically see a bright spot infinitely far away, or at least there would exist a bright spot infinitely far away. Remember, this is a theoretical calculation. And so if m is a whole number, we should count m when we're counting up the final number of bright spots. However, if m is not a whole number, it means we haven't yet reached a new bright spot. We are partway in between two bright spots. And so we must round m down because we don't want to overcount the number of bright spots we have on the screen. And so now that we have m, we can calculate the total number of bright spots on the screen. Well, the total number is just going to be equal to m plus m plus 1. That's because we have m bright spots above the center line, we have m bright spots below the center line, and we have our central maximum right in the center. And so the total number of bright spots is 2m plus 1. So first off, remember that m is a positive integer. So before you plug it into that 2m plus 1 equation, you need to make sure that it's either a whole number or you've rounded down. Second. Don't forget to take the central point into account. That's why we have the plus one in our expression. And finally, something to think about. How would this problem change if I asked for the total number of bright fringes from a single slit rather than a double slit?